All right. In order to have your pens work, you need to have the USB connection as well as the HDMI. The HDMI will project and the USB will provide the interactivity with the pens. So make sure that you plug the HDMI on the left side of your computer and then you have a choice with the USB. You can plug it into your USB hub or you can plug it in directly into the computer. Now that I am projecting on the screen, I would like to make sure that it is an extended view. So if you don't know how to do extended view, you can hit Windows P on your computer. On the right hand side, you will have the option to duplicate, extend, or second screen only. So I'm gonna make sure that it's in extended mode. And when you have done that, it should show a blank screen of your background. Anything that you would like students to see at home or in person in the classroom, you will just drag to that window. The default is to drag the screen to the right side. When you're in Teams, you will share the projected screen, which is your second monitor, screen number two. So in Teams, you will share screen number two, which will be below on the far left hand side, and it will say screen number two underneath. You will know that you have shared the correct screen by there's a red outline on your interactive board. As you know, by default, when you share a screen, it will minimize your teams. So you will have teams on your laptop with your students and your instructional will be all projected on your interactive board. So kids in the classroom and at home can see your instruction. In this segment, we'll teach you how you can use your Epson pens to write while you're teaching on Teams. When you start your computer, the default software will open up and you have to close this down because it will not let you write while on Teams. This is the easy interactive board software. So when this opens up, anytime you restart your computer, you will need to close out of this software. Now, when you come over to the board, you will see when you bring your pens close to the board, you'll see this arrow pop up. We will not be using this ink layer to write. The kids will not see this on Microsoft Teams. When we're all in person, in a normal school year, we would just do our ink layer through this, but we can't do that with Microsoft Teams. In order to do so, we are going to open up Smart Notebook. The Smart Notebook allows us to put an ink layer that Microsoft Teams will be able to see. So I just opened up Smart Notebook application. This software is installed on every teacher laptop. So if you just go down to the magnifying glass and type in Smart Notebook, you'll see a blue icon that has a picture of a notebook. You'll open this up and what you will need to do is drag this to your projected screen. You can use this as a whiteboard here um, that students can see at home because it's being shared. But if you wanted to write on a particular presentation, PDF, we can actually go into transparent mode. Transparent mode is located up at the top here. I can use my pen as a mouse to click up there. To do so, I need to hit either side of the blue arrow. And you must go up and click the mouse here. When you click that as a mouse, you'll know that you've turned the pen to a mouse because there's will be a picture of a mouse at the bottom. Now I can use this to click on anything in, on the screen. So to activate that transparent mode, you'll go up to the top and you'll say view screens. One of the options on the drop down menu is transparent background. When you click transparent background, it acts as a transparency, like an overhead for those um, old school teachers. So if I click this, it'll look like Micro, our smart notebook disappeared, but it actually makes a small toolbar 
that you can drag to wherever you would like. Um, I know some teachers like to have it down low. You will need to access this pretty frequently. Some other teachers like to have it up high. It's entirely up to a preference. But you need to have it out of the way so from where you're writing on. So here, let's say, is a presentation that I am going to instruct with. If I wanted to keep going to the next slides, I can simply, I'm still in the mouse mode, and I can click until I'm ready to write. So I'm right now using the pen as a mouse. Here's the very first problem that I would actually like to write something. To write something, I'm going to go to that smart notebook and I'm gonna click the pen. Once I've clicked the pen, I've activated that I can write with this. So if I have, what you saw there is sometimes there's a delay, so you just need to be patient and let um, it hover. So that's only initially when you start writing. And I can keep going from there. If I wanted a different color pen, you can go to the three dots and you can choose the pen color here. So say I wanted to do red, oh, these are like terms, so you can combine them. Also with the three dots, you have the choice if you want to highlight text, you can do that. Um, you do have options of shapes down here, drawing lines. Um, so any feature that you could use in the Smart Notebook software, you can still use here. So when you are done and you want to uh, erase this, the easiest way to erase this is to actually start a new page of the Smart Notebook. You do that by just clicking the arrow and it gives you a, a fresh start. Say this kid says, oh, I wasn't done copying that, you can go back and hit the left arrow and it will bring that ink layer back. If I need to get to my next slide, I would then need to activate the mouse button to navigate to the next slide. Here's my new problem. I want to write, I click the pen, I wait a second and I hover a little bit, and then you can start trying to write. If you're done and want to get out of this, all you would need to go is back to the Smart Notebook software and hit the little computer screen which is gonna exit you out of that transparent mode and it gives you back to that smart notebook that you can use as a, a, a plain whiteboard. Keep in mind when you're writing with this, um, your projector needs to see where you're writing. So if you're, um, be mindful of your shadow because sometimes when you try to write, it won't pick it up. So you will need to tilt to the side a little bit. That has been one of um, one little tip that some teachers have issues with. 